Hey, how can we help you? I'd rather not talk to you. I don't usually talk to construction workers. Do you know who I am? By your looks? Just a construction worker. Just a construction worker, huh? That's what I said. Who's your boss? Hi, are you Vanessa? Hi, yes, that's me. I'm Mr. James' assistant. He asked me to come and take inventory. Oh, okay, sure. Let me just take this call and I'll be right back to show you where everything is. Excuse me. You're beautiful. <laughs> don't even start. I'm not interested in guys that don't have money and that <laughs> look like that. Vanessa, hi. You again? What do you want? I was wondering if you wanted to go to lunch. Are you being serious? What makes you think I would want to go have lunch with you? Because it's lunchtime and I'm getting pretty hungry. I guess we can do that, but I'll need you to do something first. What is that? Do you know Mr. James' son? <laughs> yes, I know him. Why? <laughs> Great. Now we're talking. I'm going to need you to introduce him to me. One day, I will own this entire place. I could do that for you. I'll introduce you then. You better not bring me any fast food. You got that? I got it. I'm back, here's your food. Aw, you probably spent your whole check on that. I spent some of my check, but you're worth it. Every penny of it. You deserve to be treated like a queen. Don't get too comfortable talking to me like that. <laughs> we are not on the same level. Oh, and you better not tell anyone that you've been working on the inventory for me. I wouldn't say anything, don't worry about it. What is this? Didn't I specifically ask you to not bring fast food? I don't eat cheap junk food. <laughs> don't you see me? My body does not look like this from eating cheap junk food. This is what we usually eat here. <laughs> <laughs> I regret agreeing to have lunch with you. Pick it up. Come on, Kevin. That woman is only trying to take advantage of you. Can't you see it? Yeah, I know, but I'm crazy about it. Well, you can still go after her, but by doing it the right way. By telling her the truth. You know I can't do that. If what happened earlier continues to happen, then I'm going to have to tell Mr. James. Don't do that, please. I promise you this will be the last time. If it doesn't work out, I'll leave her alone. I just don't think that this is right. I know, but I promise it won't happen again. Kevin, if you only knew how much I like you. This is for you. I didn't know construction workers would be so romantic. Well, I am. Oh, really? Well, let me show you what I do with your cheap flowers. Why are you doing this? What am I doing wrong? You didn't like the flower? It's obvious. I didn't like it. What if Mr. James' son would have gave you that flower? Would that have made a difference? Well, that would be a whole different story. Of course, I would take a flower from him. Flowers have no meaning. What gives them value is the person who gives it to you. Now, get out of my face and don't bother me again. Bye, Vanessa. Hey, you. Come here. What up, Vanessa? Well, what's up with this mess? 
If this is how you keep your workstation, I can already imagine how messy and dirty your house is. I didn't make this mess. I don't really care who made the mess. Just pick it up. I'll pick up this mess just for you. What do you want? I wanted to know if you wanted to go to the movies since, you know, we're out early today. Aw, you're so sweet. To the movies? Do you really think I would go to the movies with you? Well, I... Enough! Shut up and don't talk to me ever again. What's going on? I am not going to let you treat him like this. <laughs> Wait. Don't tell me you're in love with Kevin. What are you waiting for, girly? You two were made for each other. You're so rude. I'm gonna tell Mr. James that you didn't work on those reports. I know that Kevin was the one who did that. Don't threaten me. I worked on those reports, period. And you better not talk to me like that ever again. That woman is only playing games with you. I know, I know. She's just a gold digger. I hate how she treats you. I know, I know. And I wanted to thank you for what you did for me. So is what Vanessa said true? Kevin, I've been in love with you for a while. But I just didn't know how to tell you. Oh my god, I had no idea. I know. I just didn't want you to think I was like a gold digger or something like that. Nah, I never would have thought of you like that. I right away knew she was after my money. That's why I did what I did. What do you think about teaching her a lesson? I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what time he's getting here? Any time now. Wait. Why is he driving that car? Oh, you mean Kevin? That is his car. No way. That can't be his. Hey, how's everything? Sorry that I'm meeting up with you guys so late. So, is that really your car? Yes, it is. And I'm here to pick up the inventory reports. Do you have those? Wait. If you're here for the reports, are you Mr. James' son? Yes. And this is our family business. <laughs> How come you never mentioned us before? I don't think it was necessary. But I'm in a rush. Can I get those inventory reports? I gotta go. Yes, of course. Of course. Wait. Forgive me for everything that I did. We can start fresh and we can go on this date now if you want. Look, Vanessa, I gave you so many chances, but I can't. It's a beautiful day. I'm gonna go enjoy it. I hope you enjoy yours. I gotta go. Bye. Oh, thanks for letting Kevin know my feelings for him. Thanks to you. We're now dating.